record and take some other pictures here as well. fun fact about this machine is that uh, as I said he ordered this machinery in 1860 they bas it basically was brought in 1861 the interesting thing is that this was made by West Point Foundry in New York um, when the Civil War started every company such as West Point Foundry started to uh, uh, get back uh, to claim this type of machinery, all the machineries that they built, to basically melt down uh, this uh, uh, iron to basically build more uh, guns for the civil war, and more ammunition. So they started to ask back all this type of machinery that they built. Um, Due to the fact that the Marquis didn't register this machinery to not pay uh, taxes is the reason why we basically still have it here and it survived the, the Civil War. Um, it's understand it that he did it not to pay taxes because not to pay taxes, he basically developed his own port. Uh, here between Manati and Barcelona, he developed his own port and basically he uh, imported and exported uh, product through there without paying uh, taxes to the Spanish crown. So we can see the fact that he made things for the Spanish crown and they uh, he got some benefits out of it, but through another side, he wasn't willing to pay taxes to the ones that are being good with it. So, um, with that port that he created or developed, basically he also uh, made money because uh, smaller merchandisers, uh, smaller merchandisers, basically paid him to come inside and to go out. Uh, to pay less to him than more to the Spanish. Yeah. 